Hi, folks. Welcome to Crisco's Corner. Breaking news, breaking news. I'm heard, I'm sure that many of you have heard what happened at the Trump rally in rural Pennsylvania. It's uh, Butler, Pennsylvania. I'm sure many of you might not know, so I'm going to show you some video here of when it happened. And those you, or YouTube that are listening or checking this out, this is now like somebody getting shot in the chest and it's a graphic violence. The president was hit. President Trump was hit. But my understanding is all right. Let's watch the video and we'll uh, go from there. Take a look at what happened. <laughs> See how he grabbed his ear? He got hit in the ear. So let's watch the rest. Many other shots being fired. At least seven, some say eight. My understanding is, if you look at the picture here, it came from the left of this photo. It was a shooter on top of a building. And in fact, I believe within a minute, the Secret Service agents, I don't know if you can hear it or not, say the shooter is down, the shooter is down. Now, my understanding is the shooter's down, who gives a crap, let him burn in hell. But the second gentleman who was in the crowd, just an innocent bystander, unfortunately lost his life. My condolences to him and his family. Now, you're going to see, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but Trump asks, let me put my shoes on, let me put my shoes on. Must be in the scuffle. I think he wears loafers, and they must have come off. Let's watch. Hold, hold, are you ready? On you. Ready? Move. Up, go, move. Go. go. Up. Hawk, guys, here. Are you ready? He's asking the Secret Service, hang, hang on a minute, hang on. Let me put my shoes on. Let me put my shoes on. Okay, we are watching live at a rally in Butler, Pennsylvania, where former President Trump was speaking on the stage. There has been some kind of disturbance that clearly sets law enforcement and Secret Service into motion, immediately jumping around the former president in a protective mode. The crowd has been screaming. They are standing by. You can hear some voices there saying, are we ready to go? Are we ready to go? They're surrounding him there because he's going to try to put his shoes on. He wants to walk out as gracefully as possible. I mean, the man, I got to tell you, this man's got a serious set of balls. He just got wounded in an assassination attempt. They say, well, it was an assassination attempt. Well, what the hell else do you think it was? Firing at a former president at a rally, that's not an assassination attempt? People had to be stupid. But anyway, he had the composure. And you'll see what he does, and I think is one of the most amazing things I've ever seen from a political candidate and former president in my life. Watch, see what Trump does. We are looking at President Trump. This does not look good. I'm going to be honest with you from what we can see right here. It looks like- And there it is. The fist up in the air. Now I'm not a lip reader, but at first I thought it was F you. Now it's fight, fight, fight. And he does it all the way across the stage and into the car that takes him away. This guy just got wounded in an assassination attempt. And he's telling everybody with his fist up, basically what he's doing, and it delayed his removal from the stage a little bit. He's telling everybody, I'm okay. We need to fight. I'm sure the adrenaline's really pumping in his body. But I tell you, this guy's got a serious set of balls. Serious set. They are attempting to move him out that he may have been injured. See, fight. Look how pissed he is. And I'd be pissed too if somebody tried to kill me. Amazing. I get give kudos to the Secret Service. I've been a little bit critical of them in the past with the Mar-a-Lago raid and such. But now when it comes to protection... And everybody thought, well, you know, some of the Secret Service might be Democrats. Bullshit. I'm sure that some of these Secret Service agents are Democrats. They didn't waste a second protecting President Trump. So hats off to them. Hats off to them. He is holding up his arm. He is pumping his fist. But clearly, Secret Service wants to get him out of this situation. 
He is attempting to stand and walk on his own. He has got his hand pumping, pumping in the air. His fist is pumping in the air, but quickly they are removing him from the stage. This is happening very quickly. We are trying to um, ascertain what happened, but quickly we do know that immediately Secret Service was on him, jumping to protect him. Let's go to Alexis McAdam. She is there, actually. And there he is trying to get in the car with his fist up. I got to tell you, I'm a religious person. I'm a Roman Catholic. And with an individual, I believe there's others that were injured, but one was wounded in the crowd. I won't count the, the, uh, the shooter. You know, screw him, he burns in hell. And he should be there right now, as a matter of fact. But I got to tell you, to stand on the door with door jam like that as they're trying to push him in with his arm up in defiance, I got to tell you, this is divine intervention. I have zero doubt. Zero doubt. This is the first real attempt at his life. There was somebody, I believe, in 2016 that jumped the stage, but he wasn't, you know, he didn't have any weapons or anything. And I'll tell you, for a big guy, Trump moves quick. You see when he grabbed his ear. Now, some say the bullet ricocheted off the podium. But I'll tell you the truth, one inch closer to his head, that could have been it. That could have been it or caused such serious damage that it would put him out of the race. Maybe even ruined his life if not taken it. So I got to tell you, hats off to the Secret Service. Hats off to you, President Trump. Basically holding your fist up like F you. Fight, fight, fight. That's what he was saying as they were taking him off, blood coming down his ear across his face. What a unbelievable historical moment. Let's just watch a little bit in the end. At the rally as President Trump is waving his fist but looks injured okay. and is being taken out of this rally. Alexis, what can you tell us from there on site? Yeah, pretty, pretty wild. Pretty wild. Let's go back here and see when it happened. It happened quick, folks. Things happen quickly. Now, I'm only six seconds in the video. That's how quick it was. And there's President Trump there, just ready. In fact, he was turning the directions, I believe, that the, the uh, bullets came from. I think that's what saved him. Looking right. If he had been looking straight ahead, it would have went right into his ear and into his brain. Good chance. Either taking his life or wounding him badly, very badly. Now, I saw a short statement from President Biden. I'm not going to rag him. He said all the right things. Uh, he, he called them Donald, which was interesting. Maybe made it a little more personable. I'm sure his staff wrote that. He's going to try to get a hold and talk to you, President Trump, later tonight. So no shots on Biden. It's polarizing enough. But when he does do and say the right things, I can't blame him for that. I can't go after him. But here it is, folks. The president was hit. President Trump was hit. But my understanding is all right. Let's watch the video and we'll uh, go from there. Take a look at what happened. See how he grabbed his ear? He got hit in the ear. So let's watch the rest. Many other shots being fired. At least seven, some say eight. My understanding is, if you look at the picture here, it came from the left of this photo. It was a shooter on top of a building. And in fact, I believe within a minute, the Secret Service agents, I don't know if you can hear it or not, say, the shooter is down, the shooter is down. Now, my understanding is, the shooter's down, who gives a crap? Let him burn in hell. But the second gentleman who was in the crowd, just an innocent bystander, unfortunately lost his life. My condolences to him and his family. Now, you're going to see, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but Trump asked 
let me put my shoes on, let me put my shoes on. Must be in the scuffle. I think he wears loafers, and they must have come off. Let's watch. Hold, hold, when you're ready, on you. Ready, go. Move, up, go, move. Go, go. Up. Hawkeye's here. He's asking Secret Service, hang, hang on a minute, hang on. Let me put my shoes on. Let me put my shoes on. Okay, we are watching live at a rally in Butler, Pennsylvania, where former President Trump was speaking on the stage. There has been some kind of disturbance that clearly sets law enforcement and Secret Service into motion, immediately jumping around the former president in a protective mode. The crowd has been screaming. They are standing by. You can hear some voices there saying, are we ready to go? Are we ready to go? They're surrounding him there because he's going to try to put his shoes on. He wants to walk out as gracefully as possible. I mean, the man, I got to tell you, this man's got a serious set of balls. Wow, what did you think of that? Isn't that something? He's, he moves pretty quick for a big guy. And the Secret Service was just amazing as well. So to recap, the shooter is dead. Burn in hell. An innocent bystander in the crowd at the rally, attending the rally, an adult male, I believe, was he lost his life. There were several slightly injured. President Trump was wounded on his ear in the side of his head. He was taken off. They say he's going to be fine. Thank God. I got to tell you the truth. As he's looking right there instead of straight ahead at the crowd like he does a lot of the time, I personally believe, and this is my personal belief only, this is divine intervention. I really and truly do. And I'm not saying by any means that President Trump, former President Trump, is a saint. God stepped in. Maybe, just maybe, we have a country that we can salvage. Anyway, folks, that's the news of the day. Probably the most historical thing that's happened in my lifetime. And I watched JFK's funeral. I'm old enough. I was born in 56. The assassination was right after my birthday. My birthday's in the middle of November. And I remember watching the funeral with a turned backward boot and a horse to stirrup for JFK. I've seen the eternal flame for JFK. And I actually watched Oswald being shot by Jack Ruby on live TV. I was there watching it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So, folks, prayers for President Trump. Prayers for those that were wounded. And especially prayers for the gentleman that passed away in the crowd and his family and friends. We're going to see what happens. Was this a larger thing or was just one nut bar? I don't want to take joy in somebody's death. But you F around and you find out what happens. Until the next time, God bless, goodbye, and pray for the U.S.